Welcome everyone. Adam DeWu here as the recording of this Monday, October 17th, 2022. The Halloween season is upon us. And that means that Burger King has unleashed, unveiled their seasonal, every year they do something a little bit different, food item, which is a Whopper called the Ghost Pepper Whopper. Equipped with quite a bit of jalapenos and ghost pepper cheese from what I see am seeing. I have an assortment of friends who are doing food reviews who have covered this and I'm jumping on board because it's a limited thing. I like the Halloween season. I like food. In the past I have done the specialty items that Burger King has put out there. Ken Domic, food review extraordinaire, he covered it. Set a stalker, a buddy in San Diego, also covered it. Carpetbagger covered it. Try to think who else. The endorsement, he always bows his head, tilts his head back up and gives his review. There may have been someone else. Oh, Reckless Eating also covered it. So I wanna give a little shout out to all of them. I am on my way now over to Old Town to the Burger King to get one of these and try it. Join me. Also, I'm wearing an appropriate t-shirt because I might need one of these to exercise the demon. As Jason sure would say, because I don't know how I'm gonna handle this. I don't like hot stuff. Shall you? And it's about 6.20 p.m., dinner time, as you could say, and eating this late, not really late in the evening, but eating something this hot might give me a little heartburn when I lay down to, to slumber a little bit later. Well, let's hope not. Usually I'll sit here and wait for the bicycle to move on the minute hand. I usually do not like jalapenos, and I don't know if I've ever in my entire life tried a ghost pepper. So I'm definitely going to have an icy cold soda and maybe even get an extra water that I will keep on me in the back, there it goes, it's moving. Okay, it's time for me to move. I'm getting over to Old Town. Burger King time. And with the sun starting to set there above the Ferris wheel at Old Town USA here in Kissimmee, Florida, gonna zoom in on the sign, Burger King. Home of the limited edition, just for the Halloween season, Ghost Pepper Whopper, jalapenos and cheese. Now I have chosen to step it up just a little bit. I have my large Coke here that I purchased. Gonna need the full, the full deal, because I have a feeling this is gonna be spicy on the old tongue palate and into the, the throat region. But I have opted not for one of the ghost pepper whoppers, two ghost pepper whoppers. Got my napkins here. And I got some fries to almost use as a chaser, if you will. So I got the fries down in there because I feel like I'm gonna need something to stifle the burger itself. So let me take both of these out show what I got here. Two burgers. I figured one might not be enough. Once the once the, the peppering flavor gets in my in my face, I might need to just keep consuming. It might the second one might not be as intense as the first. So got a, got the fries here. Let me uh, let me do this. I don't even want to start consuming the I don't want to drop any of these on the ground either. Of the whopper. Ooh, don't drop that. Two of the ghost pepper whoppers. It does not look like there's any kind of special packaging. However, maybe there is. A little activity over there at that hotel. So. Okay, this is Whopper with cheese, flame grilled. Go on over there. Oh, look at this. Now, here we go. We got the first one. This is stick. The cheese is sticking unto the packaging. That is what we're dealing with right there. So let me open the first one. Let me open the second one and prepare thyself for the experience of the double, the double Whopper. Which one do I start on first? Burger King. There's people yelling on there's people yelling over there. That's how I'm gonna be feeling soon, very soon. I don't know if I've ever had, truthfully, I don't know if I've ever had a ghost pepper before. This is what's inside of it right there. You can see, I thought maybe it was lettuce. I don't see any lettuce on this. Just bacon, some, these must be the ghost peppers. Oh, wow.
feeling the heat. I think this might be the worst part though. Ooh. <clears throat> oh yeah. That's got a little kick to it. I'm not gonna drink that yet. Okay. First impression. Warm! Sure is hot in these rhinos. Honestly, I thought it was gonna be hotter than this, but man, it has an after kick. It has an after bite. It has an after effect of the heat. Now, oh wow, now it's coming in, coming in hot. Woo! Oh wow, taste the bun here. The bun tastes pretty good. First thought, not as hot as I thought it was gonna be. Second thought, it is still pretty dang hot. Third thought, I should not have proclaimed that I was gonna have two of these. I should have only ate one. But I've already stated it unless I edit it out, which I'm not gonna do. the coaster drop it in on the background still halfway through my first burger I like it so I would have guessed that these little green things are the ghost peppers right there and the cheese no these are the jalapenos the cheese has the ghost pepper in it so jalapenos all on the top an orange bun I'm not sure if there's any flavors in these little sesame seeds but I got a little crunch right there. Crunched on something. It may have been one of the jalapenos. Ooh. I'm just trying not to think about it. Plow through it now. When it comes to hot things, eating hot things, I like curry and Indian food. I like some spices and other delicacies. I can deal with jalapenos. Anything hotter than that, I don't really sign up for. Woo! Ugh. I'm starting to feel it a little bit now. It's the after effect. At first it doesn't hit you, but it hits you after a couple bites. Mm. I'm going to finish this before I get the chaser fries and the soda. but driving by wondering what the heck I'm doing. The bacon's really good. So, got a little bit of the jalapenos left, a little bit of the bacon left, a little bit of that cheese left. The cheese is about the same coloration as the bun itself. Oh man, I'm gonna need a swig of that soda soon. It's not uncomfortably, not uncomfortable to eat, but it's not pleasant to eat either. Woo! Mm. Soda. Oh, that's the nectar of the gods. Ooh. Oh man. That was the best taste of Coke I've had in a while. Ooh. 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 All right, one burger down. A couple little chaser fries here for good measure. That really curbs the heat. Everyone that I aforementioned, all the other people that I'm friends with that do food reviews that covered this, 
I'm kind of late to the party on this because it came out a few days ago. I've done that in recent with things I've done recently. I haven't done them the first day. I'll wait a few days and then try it. Today is the ghost pepper Whopper. I'm not sure if everyone else I mentioned ate the whole burger or not. Or if they just ate a little bit of it. I'm not sure if they ate the whole thing. And I don't think any of them, probably should have researched this first, ate two. I feel like reckless eating, if anyone would have ate you. Ooh, look at these birds, look at this. Going over. I could be wrong though, maybe one of them ate two. I know they all they all tried it, of the, of the four, four or five I mentioned. All right, go in for round two. I am not a food reviewer by trade, or by choice, or by experience, or by habit, or by fault. But every once in a while I will do a food review, and that's what I'm doing today. Going in now on the bacon, bacon burger here. Let me discard this. Okay, it's starting to come up. I'm starting to feel it now. Hold on. Woo! So I feel like the second one is not gonna have the brunt and much of a punch as much as, let me, let me just do this, let me focus this. I don't think, oh look at that. Look at that right there. I'm going to give you some heartburn. I know you are. I have been eating a lot better, though. In fact, this is the only thing I've had all day, so eating two. I've been doing good on my diet. I've been cheating quite a bit, but I was looking at photos of me a year ago in December of last year. Not quite a year, 10 months. I was much heavier than I am. I'm doing pretty good. I'm, I'm not sticking to my day-to-day -day plan like I should be, but in the grand scheme of things, over the last 12 months, I've done pretty good. It's not justifying consuming two of these though, but even though, maybe because it's got extra pepper on it, more heat, less calories, probably not the case. <clears throat> these do not retain their heat very well. The heat of the peppers and the cheese, yes, the heat off the grill? No. It's starting to become lukewarm. Ugh. Inside, it's piping hot. Not a beverage, but piping hot. Peppers. Piping hot, non-caffeinated pepper. Oh, that's hot, that's spicy. But the ratio of heat inside this bad boy, even though the texture of the bun is cooled down and the meat itself is lukewarm, the spiciness is on, a, is on a level. And I'm getting really full. Shouldn't have had two of these. I know the thing to do when you're eating during a food review is to eat inside a car. I don't really like eating in my car on camera. I always try to go outside and be in the, the natural environment. But I do understand eating in your car because no one bothers you. Even though some would bother me out here. It'd be strange because I'm kind of away from everything. Here's another, here's another fun fact. I can't even taste what that cola is. You could tell me that was a Pepsi, a Sprite, a Coke, a Mountain Dew. I would believe you because I have no taste buds left. They have been they just burned, fried out of my tongue. I have no taste buds left. I think this thing has scorched my taste buds. I'm not... Squirrel. Hello, squirrel. Hi. You ever had one of these ghost pepper squirrel? I'm gonna finish it. Ooh! I tried, to, I tried to swallow before I chewed it. And the pepper went down my throat. That was a chunk of pepper. That was a... Ugh. 
stroke of pepper went down my throat. <laughs> was the biggest chunk of pepper went right down the old throat region. What they call that? The esophagus? The esophagus? Probably not. I'm not a doctor. Man, that, that is a rush. Like I said, I am not used to hot things. Curry and Indian food, I love it. With some naan bread, sopping it up there in the sauce. But when it comes to peppers, no. All those challenges that everyone does online, I could never last two seconds on those hot challenges. I'd probably have a heart palpitation or some sort of issue here if I did that. In fact, this probably isn't even the most healthiest choice for me. But I will say, it is tolerable. So, oh wow, did you just hear that gurgle? It is tolerable. I think anybody could do this. If you could tolerate any sort of spice, I think you can get through at least one of these or at least half of these. If so, let's say you don't like hot stuff, you could probably cut it in half and share it with someone and be fine if you had the soda. Make sure you have the soda and the fries is like a chaser. Just my opinion. I am not a hot connoisseur and I'm about to polish off two of these bad boys. Man, there's a lot of jalapenos. There's a lot of freaking jalapenos on this thing. <laughs> Why, thank you, Pepper Boy. More pepper? Why, that's the right, the appropriate amount of pepper, Pepper Boy. One of my favorite SNL skits. That and the, you like it a juice, huh? You, I get you more juice. Take the pepper boy though. Great, Chris Farley. It's too much. Getting two of these was a big mistake. I apologize for anyone that's still watching. Bacon's really good. Not a comfortable meal. You would not get this for anything other than a novelty. Maybe, maybe if you like jalapenos. This is a novelty burger that just reeled me in. It just pulled me in like a tractor beam. You want Burger King said, hey, we're going to make a little novelty thing. Everyone's just going to eat it up. And I did. Mission accomplished, BK. I have about to accomplish this. With the coaster in the back. Out of the woo, stay in the parking lot of Old Town, Kissimmee. We're about to embark on a historic occasion. Might be the only food reviewer. D2! There's probably, honestly, there's probably someone who's like probably devoured 24 of these. Shouldn't make that statement. Come back and see them. When's the next 25 World Series? Here's the red letter date in the history of vlogs. Hot! Woo! All right, I'm finishing this up. Mmm. Two ghost pepper whoppers. Mmm. 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 This is... Oh, this, my nose is running. This is the content, folks. This is what you signed up for. Oh, my nose is... Oh, 
feels good. Oh, it feels good. You know, now that I finished that, I can see where people get the rush. They get the adrenaline rush. They get everything flowing through the bones. There's a little bit of a rush with eating something hot like that. Oh my gosh, that aftertaste. Whew. Uh, I don't know if I... Ooh. Okay, I can feel it all in here. I can feel it around here. I can feel it right here. It's really strong. Oh, belching up some serious heat. Oh. Oh. Dang. I did it, Burger King. I did it. I should have got one of those crowns. King me. All right. My food review. This is a food review, so I got to review it. I say try it. If you like Whoppers, my dad tells a story that back in the day, when he was in, he went to Atlanta Christian College, I believe that's the, the time frame, that he first had Burger King when they introduced the Whopper. It was the biggest hamburger he had ever seen. My dad tells the story to this day. I don't know if my dad would eat this Whopper. Very hot. Very, very hot. I don't know if my dad can handle the heat palette of that, but maybe. But he tells the story, he always remember the Whopper being the biggest hamburger he had ever seen. That is not the case anymore. Other people have kind of taken that, that over and the Whopper's gotten smaller and smaller. So what they do now is for Halloween, they just pile a bunch of hot stuff on there, scorching stuff, and call it a Halloween themed burger. It was good. I would recommend it if you like Whoppers, you like spicy things, even if you don't like spicy things, give it a try. It's not gonna hurt, not gonna, it might hurt you. It might actually hurt you if you have a health issue. So don't, don't do that if you have a health problem. But if you can consume all the items that are on that burger, give it a try. I feel much better now. The aftertaste has kind of gone away. The aftertaste has kind of gone away. I don't know how I'm gonna feel in an hour when it all starts coming back up into fruition or on the opposite end. There will be no follow-up to this. I will not give you an update tomorrow on how maybe eating two was a mistake. Thanks, Burger King, for introducing us to another sandwich that really doesn't really need to exist. Probably sold a lot of them. Well done. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog, cheers, is over.